Bill Brown and Matt Stryker face Steve Bradley and Chad Collier. Easy Money defends the HWA title against Ray Steele and more. I'm Jim Cornette, Les Thatcher under the weather this week, so I'm joined by the HWA sports agent extraordinaire Brock Guffman. And now here's Haas with the introductions for the first contest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a singles match. Introducing first, hailing from Tokyo, Japan, Kaz Hayashi! And here we are with... Here we are within a brand new year, Mr. Cornette, and it's great that finally there's somebody here that's going to keep you in line for one of these weeks. Well, Mr. Guffman, I must say that when I heard Les Thatcher was under the weather and I'd be joined as a broadcast partner by the premier sports agent in HWA, I have to say that my first feeling was one of sheer revulsion. Hoss, hailing from Brooklyn, New York, he is Johnny the Bull. Well, senior OVW official Robert Briscoe, also with a referee's license here in the Heartland Wrestling Association to referee our first contest. It's going to be a, a match of size against speed and strength against agility. Kaz Hayashi and Johnny Bull. And the Bull just charged right at Kaz Hayashi, but Kaz did everything he can to duck and dodge, move and groove, stick and jive. And, and so far, he is staying out of the clutches of the stronger Johnny the Bull, who, as you know, Brock Guffman, has just become Mike Sanders' bodyguard. That's right. Last week here, Patrick Black suspended Reno, and Mike Sanders, all the talent wants to come with Mike Sanders. He wants to be the man in 2002. Johnny the Bull was there to take that calling. Well, right now, Kaz, in control of Johnny the Bull, when you take a man of bull size and strength down and put him on the mat, try to tie him up, that neutralizes that size and strength advantage. And that's where Kaz Hayashi's uh, premier scientific expertise comes into play. Great mat technician, one of the outstanding HWA cruiserweights here. Bull trying to find a way to get out of this thing. And we want to thank the fans here at the Davis Arena in Jeffersonville, Indiana, who braved about four inches of snow and sleet and very freezing conditions to come out for the taping tonight. Wait a minute. Kaz ducks under, ducks again. Bull trying to catch him. Oh, wait a minute. He did. He just picked him right up and hot shot at him. Right over that top rope, and now Bull is firmly in control. Slowed down the little Pokemon to an inch of his life. Wait a minute. Hook the leg. And you know Mike Sanders got to be back there uh, watching the monitor in the locker room area. Mike Sanders got to be really proud of Johnny the Bull because, after all, Sanders is placing his physical well-being in the hands of this man. And he's, he's certainly uh, he's got the background. He's done some strong-arm work, from what I understand, in his native New York. Wait a minute. Lateral press there, only the count of two, and, and Bull will do what he's paid to do, and he'll protect who he's paid to protect. Absolutely, and it looks like Johnny the Bull did not have a very good, uh, well-rounded meal today because he's taking, he's having Kazayashi for lunch. Well, Bull now trying to intimidate the referee. Oh, wait a minute, if he draws back at an official, if he swings, he'll be fined or suspended. Not a good idea, but he's trying to get that mental advantage. Now he's on top of Kaz and he's choking the man. Briscoe trying to force the count. There's a lateral press, hooked the far leg, couldn't make it stick. I tell you, we've got some great HWA action upcoming over the next few weeks. Uh, Covington, Kentucky, Saturday, January 26th, back at Jillian's Warehouse to benefit Cincinnati's teen response. A lot of stars there. D'Lo Brown, Easy Money, Johnny the Bull, Ray Steele. Also, you'll see WWF's Victoria and MTV's Tough Enough winner, Nydia, in a tag team match against Helena Heavenly of the HWA and OVW's Donna Daring. It's going to be a tremendous tag match. Covington, Kentucky, Jillian's Warehouse on Saturday the 26th. Plus, you know there's going to be some of your friends as a sports agent around town. Some of the Bengals are going to be there. Absolutely. Former stars of the Cincinnati Bengals, the 1988 team. Well, like the last time I think they were in the playoffs. Including Icky Woods, Ira Hillary, Barney Bussey, and Mike Martin. Oh, wait a minute! Did you see that? Jockey in for position. Both men went for kicks and both men's uh, went for it at the same time, that spelled disaster. Now Johnny the Bull trying to crawl over Kaz Hayashi. Could this be it? And no, just the count of two. Kaz still too strong, fighting for everything he's worth against the larger opponent. But Johnny the Bull, that was a that was a bad spill for both men, and the Bull is up to his feet first. Scoop slam there. We just had a chance to tell you about that Covington uh, action with the HWA. We'll have more news later on in the program tonight about some great other HWA cards coming to your area. Wait a minute, a bull on the top rope now. He missed it. No water in the pool. Hayashi out of the way. Bull took too long to, to hot dog and preen for the crowd. And now Hayashi 
has the opportunity to change the momentum here. The bigger man is stunned, and Hayashi goes to work. Hayashi's back up at it, and oh, oh. look at that swinging kick to the face. How is this? Hayashi should be out at this point. Johnny the Bull has so much strength over him, and he's, no, only a two count. Wait a minute, Hayashi, out there on the apron, goes for a springboard into a drop kick and a nip up. Look at the athleticism. This young Japanese superstar hooked the far leg there, but the Bull still too strong, but Bull is weakening. And Hayashi taking to the air seems to be to be spelling the, uh, the right combination to take Bull down. Now reversal, swing and a miss. Hayashi up in the air. Oh, oh. wait a minute. He switched direction midair did Hayashi and caught Johnny the Bull in a DDT. Oh, wait a minute. What in the world? Mike Sanders. Sanders has just come to ringside. Sanders is, he is screaming at the referee, Hayashi on the top rope. Gonna, wait a minute. Hayashi came off the top and leveled Sanders. Thank God somebody finally shut him up for a second. Now Hayashi going to the top. He comes off cross body, but the Bull caught him. I dropped him face first. Hayashi had the bull where he wanted him, but wait a minute, two, three, that's it. Hayashi had the bull where he wanted him, Brock Guffman, but Sanders coming to ringside spelled the, the delay that it took for Johnny the Bull to get his legs underneath him. Oh, for heaven's sake, Johnny the Bull wins this one, but Kaz Hayashi gave it everything he had. Folks, stay tuned when we come back. Tag team action on Heartland Wrestling with Brock Guffman's uh, A-Squad. We'll be right back.